I got my boy Jacob in the back seat right now. Him and I are out running errands and, uh, you know, stopping at Lowe's and Home Depot, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, you know. And uh, we're also going to pick up some dinner for the family. But I was thinking, for tonight's video and throughout my day today, I'm getting hammered with phone calls, text messages, emails. And that's to be expected because of the time of year. And the same questions are coming up over and over again. And something I want to hit on really quick that's a very popular question for people that are about to enter the withdrawal stage is how long am I going to be in withdrawal for? That is like the question everyone asks. And the first thing that everyone wants to know is what you are taking and how long you've been taking it for. So generally, the general number, and this is an average, for a half-life, which a half-life is after a certain amount of time, you still have half of the dosage that you took in, okay? So the average for most drugs is three and a half hours, all right? So if you're taking oxycodone, hydrocodone, which are the two like main ones, fentanyl, um, three and a half hours. Morphine's two to four hours. But then you start looking at methadone, which can be, and people will argue this till the, till the day they die, roughly 24 to 72 hours. Okay, that's a long stretch, but it depends on a, a lot of factors dealing with genetics and your body weight and everything else. But then you talk about bup, you're talking about suboxin. That could be 24 to 48 hours, all right? So if you're taking either one of those medications, it may take longer for you to get into withdrawal, okay, because you still have stuff in your system. So if you're three days in and you're like, shit, I still feel okay. Maybe I got this bit beat, maybe I'm lucky, and then all of a sudden you feel you got hit by a truck, that's because of the long half-life. You still had the drug inside your system. Now, if your withdrawals are lasting longer than you expected, it's probably because you had been taking Suboxone or, or, uh, or Methadone. So don't get discouraged. It may take a little bit longer, but it's just like any other opiate. Eventually, it will leave your body. Things will be restored. Your brain will go back to normal, and then you can have kick-ass nights out with your kid like I am right now um, running errands and buying him toys because he's being a good little boy and he feels better from yesterday so I wanted to hit on that because it is a key factor and a key question for a lot of people today and I mean that was one of the first things I wanted to know when I started asking people was how long am I gonna feel like crap and granted the half-life is a very small part of the whole spectrum of your withdrawal time it comes down to genetics, which people don't want to hear. It comes down to your nutrition, how well you've been taking care of your body, the, your weight. I mean, a million different aspects come in. But generally, you can count on your half-life and how long you've been taking the medication for, how long you've been abusing it. So if you've been taking it less than a year, <clears throat> hopefully your withdrawal symptoms will be quicker than somebody who's been taking it 10 years. Okay, but keep in mind that our bodies are all different, all right? So the first question everyone asks me is how long do you think it's going to take? And I have to be honest with you, I don't know. Okay, I don't know how long you're going to feel like crap. It could be quick, it could be long, all right? But the bottom line is you need to be ready to fight. You need to be ready to go to war with your own body and mind, and you have to be ready to win at all costs. Nothing else matters but getting better, all right? And if you have that mindset, that shit, I'm taking on the world right now, it's me against the world, I'm not going to be a statistic. If you do that, then there's no question in my mind that you'll be successful, you'll catch yourself on the other side of the railroad tracks, you'll be going on with your life, starting your chapter one, and going off into the sunset. I mean, I don't want to sound cheesy, but that's where you all want to be. If that's where you want to go, you can get there, all right? So just fight like hell, and don't take no for an answer. Right, Jacob? All right. Questions or comments below. If you'd like to share your story, you can email me at ryanacomsupport.com. And in the subject line, put YouTube story, my story. I'm not getting any emails from you guys, so uh, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. I'd really like something to put out there. So uh, hopefully somebody writes in. All right. Have a good one.